today's video, we will be discussing river grading and rejuvenation of rivers. Grading profiles is what the erosion of the river looks like from the side. You get two types, a graded profile and an ungraded profile. A graded profile is a longitudinal profile that shows a concave smooth shape, starting from the source and ending at the mouth. This is normally the shape that the river aims to achieve. Ungraded profile is a longitudinal profile that, that does not have a smooth shape. Temporary base levels disrupt it. Now temporary base levels are discussed in a previous video named River Profiles. River Grading River grading is related to the river's energy and there are three types. One, a graded river. This is when erosion and deposition are balanced. The river has sufficient energy to flow and the gradient, volume and channel shape are all in equilibrium. The second type of river grading is an overgraded river. It is a fast flowing river that has a large amount of energy and erodes its channels. The third type is an undergraded river, a slow flowing river that lacks energy to flow and deposits its load. A way that you can remember the difference between an overgraded river and an undergraded river is that an overgraded river has over the normal amount of energy and an undergraded river has under the normal amount of energy. Rejuvenation of rivers. Rejuvenation is when the river's energy to erode increases. This could be due to a change in the longitudinal profile or due to an increase in the amount of water inside the river. Reasons for rejuvenation. The first reason is a change in base level of erosion. This can either be from tectonic uplifting or a lowering in sea level. As you can see in the diagram, the original base level is the blue line, but something occurred, either a tectonic uplifting or a lowering in sea level. This has caused a new base level to occur. A second reason for rejuvenation is when a river suddenly flows over a steep, steep gradient. This gradient could be caused from tectonic uplifting. A third reason is when there is an increase of volume of water within the river. This increase leads to an increase of energy which therefore leads to an increased amount of erosion taking place. This can either be from an excessive rainfall, stream capture or an increased runoff. Features of rejuvenation The first feature is terraces. In the first diagram you can see that this is before rejuvenation has taken place. And in the second diagram, this is after multiple rejuvenations has, have taken place. As the river cuts down into a new level, it leaves the old floodplain behind. And over time, a new floodplain is created lower down where the river is flowing. If this process happens multiple times, it can create a step-like structure within the wider valley. In the second diagram, the green line clearly shows the step-like structures that are created by rejuvenation. Now if you logically think about this, the floodplains that are higher up, so the first floodplains as you come down from the hill, they are the oldest, and the floodplains nearer to the river, they are the youngest. The second feature is valleys within valleys. Now a valley within a valley is created after rejuvenation when the river carves another valley deeper inside the original valley. This can be seen in the second diagram where the original valley is highlighted in red and the new valley inside the valley is highlighted in green. So you can clearly see that there is a new valley within the older valley. The third feature is a nick point. This is where the gradient of a longitudinal profile changes. It can either be a waterfall or rapids. An incised or entrenched meander is the last feature. They are meanders that are clearly formed and eroded further into the land than normal. The old meander's vertical erosion has increased and the meander is deepened and cut down into the landscape. 